In a previous video, we explored creating GraphQL queries and mutations inside of this new graphical. We previously seen how we can explore the documentation using the schema introspection results. Here we can see a list of all of our queries and we can see a list of all of the mutations, including their descriptions and the input argument types. Today we'll explore adding a plugin that will help us create our queries. We'll be able to pick from the list and check on the boxes of the fields we want to include. And we can do this using a plugin called GraphQL Explorer. Here I have a very simple React application using the graphical package. I'm using Next.js and I'm rendering a custom fetcher here that uses an example GraphQL API. Using NPM, we'll install the graphical plugin Explorer package. Once this is installed, let's go ahead and import the hook use Explorer plugin. We'll also import use state from React. To finish our list of imports, let's import the style.css file from the plugin Explorer package. Next, let's go ahead and declare a query getter and setter and we'll invoke use state. Here I'll provide an empty string. You can also provide here an initial GraphQL query that you can pass to the playground. Next, let's go ahead and declare Explorer plugin. We'll invoke the use Explorer plugin hook. Here we'll pass query and on edit. We'll pass set query to the on edit handler. Now inside of where we invoke the graphical component, we can pass an array of plugins. We'll also want to specify the default query and here we'll provide query. And because we're managing the GraphQL query with our own getter and setter, we'll need to update the handler for on edit query. Here we'll provide set query and now we can save this. If we run the application and head back to our browser and refresh, we should now see on the left that we have this new button to show the graphical explorer. The icon and where it's positioned is all based on the plugin ecosystem that the new graphical provides. But what this allows me to do is now provide a query or mutation and we can build this using the Explorer plugin. If we grab the ID of our cart that we previously ran and head back to our other tab, here we can provide the ID which is updated here inside of the Explorer and then we can click through to any number of the fields inside of here. If we choose to include the name of all of our items and run the query, we can see here that it has successfully been executed against the GraphQL API using that custom fetcher. This is just one of the examples of the plugins that's available with Graphical, and you can build your own using the plugin ecosystem.